Hi, Heather. Hi, Hannah. So nice mm. to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you, too. Mm. Mm. Welcome to the Down Syndrome Office Links in Action. Mm. I'm inter interviewing you. What is what would be like? Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I appreciate you taking time to speak to me today. We all know and and these uh, C has a great policy team in Washington D.C. What types of policy issues are you working on now? Thank you. So yeah, the National Down Syndrome Congress has a policy team in D.C. Um, as, as you said, and we work on a, a variety of issues um, from birth to adulthood. Um, we're always working on education issues, um, you know, kindergarten through 12th grade, and then also post-secondary issues, employment, health care, Medicaid, um, general civil rights and, and um, financial security, such as ABLE accounts. Um, right now, I'd say a lot of our time is really spent on employment issues. Um, we have a new employment bill that was just introduced in Congress um, about two weeks ago that we're doing a lot of work on called the Transformation to Competitive, in, uh, to Competitive Employment Act, and it actually phases out um, 14C subminimum wage. So there are some folks that um, you know still work at sheltered workshops and are not um, paid minimum wage, and it phases out those, that money but also gives resources um, to those sheltered workshops to help them convert and become businesses that, um, that include people both with and without disabilities. So we think that that's a really important issue and, um, and we're working with a lot of advocates and a lot of self-advocates around the country to, um, to advocate for the bill and try to get it passed. Mm. That's kind of neat. Mm. What are some ways that I can learn to advocate about policy issues? Oh, that is a great question. So we firmly believe that the self-advocate voice is the most important voice, right? Mm -hmm. um, you, you can speak up for yourself, express your own opinions. Um, and what is so important is when you talk to your uh, elected officials, whether it's on the federal level, like your senators or representatives, or on the state level, or even on the local level to your city council or your school board member, um, that you tell them how how something impacts you personally. You tell your personal story. You don't need to know the specifics of any type of policy issues that we're working on, um, but you do need to know a little bit about the process and also um, how to tell your story. So actually, NDSC developed last year um, an advocacy toolkit for self-advocates. And this was developed, and that's for you, you can have that. And that was developed, um, my, our policy team developed that along with our self-advocate council. Um, and it basically is, you know, we'll kind of walk you through all the different steps of how to get started with legislative advocacy and how to build relationships with your elected officials. That's pretty cool. How how can I reach out to my local officials and start building a relationship? That's a great question. Um, so you have to realize that your elected officials represent you, right? So mm -hmm. you are a constituent, whether you voted for the person or not, whether you agree with their policies or not, um, you have a right to be heard. And so a great way to do that is to contact their local, their local office. Um, you can usually just get that information from the internet and say that you're a constituent and that you want to have an appointment with them. Uh, maybe get a group of people together and go and talk to them about certain issues that are important um, to the Down syndrome community. Um, that's certainly something that NDSC can help you with. So um, if you wanted to make an appointment and then, you know, connect with me or my team and ask sort of what are our top priority issues, the policy issues that we're working on right now, we can give you information about that. We can give you, um, you know, things to, uh, to talk about and, and also to, to leave behind with them. But the most important thing is always telling your story and having them get to know you. So, um, you know, telling who you are and what your dreams are and where you go to school or where you work. And so they can really kind of put a face to a lot of the issues that they're working on. 
And some other ways that you can engage with them are um, just to invite you to invite them to your events. So if you're having, you know, like a, a Down syndrome awareness walk um, or some type of other public event, to just go ahead and send them an invitation and, you know, tell it's a great opportunity for them to come and get to meet their constituents, the people who, could, you know, who potentially vote for them. And it's a great opportunity for you to get to know them. Oh. Hi. Mm. Thank you, Heather. You're welcome. Mm. Mm. For mm. interviewing with mm. Mm. Down syndrome appreciation action. No problem. My pleasure. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be here.